This video describes how to install WordSeer 4.0 on a Mac. So first, we go to the WordSeer GitHub page, and we can see the installation instructions on this page, as well as the link to the latest version of WordSeer. Notice that you need to have the right versions of Python and Java installed on your Mac before you begin. So right now it's Python 2.7 and Java 8. Go to the latest version of WordSeer and download the source code. Right now it's 4.0.1. That will probably change. And so get the zip file. I skipped the time it took to actually download the file and just deleted that. So uncompress the zip file and then bring up the terminal program and cd into the directory into WordSeer, in this case 4.0.1. Now I've already installed WordSeer on my machine, so a lot of the files will be cached, but I'm going to show you the process that you'd go through for a fresh install here. So let's go back to the installation page. Double-clicking on the Mac installer doesn't work on my machine, so I install it from the command line, as shown here. So you go to the, there we go, go into the main directory and type dot slash install dot py minus i for interactive. And it asks you if you want to use the virtual environment, and you should say yes or why. And then it asks if you'd like to perform a full install, and you should say yes or why again. And then wait for the installation to take place. The slowest part of this is to download the core NP tools from Stanford, but that uh, is already installed on my machine, so it's going to go quickly here. And again, since a lot of these packages are already installed on my machine, it's actually grabbing them from the cache. So we'll just wait for the installation script to run here. And you can see the different packages that are being set up. So the database is set up, indexes are formed, and we're done. And we're back at the command line prompt. So now let's look at the instructions again. And we're about to run WordSeer. So what you need to do is run the virtual environment. It's very important that you do this or the code probably won't work. So to do that, you run the virtual environment from the venvbin activate directory. So you just say source venvbin activate and then you simply run wordseer.py and that gives you a web address and a port to run it from on your local machine. So I've just typed it in there, refresh my browser, and we get the welcome to WordSeer screen. The first time you run it, you need to register with it. And this is just stored on your local machine in a database on your local machine. Give it a password and register it. And now you can start creating a project.